Switches There are two fundamental uses for switches. First, switches are used for operator input to send instructions to the control circuit. Second, switches may be installed on the moving parts of a machine to provide automatic feedback to the control system. There are many different types of switches, too many to cover in this course. However, with a basic understanding of switches, it is easy to understand most of the different types. Push button The most common switch is the push button. It is also the one that needs the least description because it is widely used in automotive and electronic equipment applications. There are two types of push button, the momentary and maintained. The momentary push button switch is activated when the button is pressed, and deactivated when the button is released. The deactivation is done using an internal spring. The maintained push button activates when pressed, but remains activated when it is released. Then to deactivate it, it must be pressed a second time. For this reason, this type of switch is sometimes called a push-push switch. The on or off switches on most desktop computers and laboratory oscilloscopes are maintained push buttons. The contacts on switches can be of two types. These are normally open, no, and normally closed, and see. Whenever a switch is in its deactivated position, the no contacts will be open, non-conducting, and the NC contacts will be closed, conducting. Figure shows the schematic symbols for a normally open push button, left, and a normally closed push button, center. The symbol on the right of figure is a single push button with both no and NC contacts. There is no internal electrical connection between different contact pairs on the same switch. Most industrial switches can have extra contacts piggybacked on the switch, so as many contacts as needed of either type can be added by the designer. The schematic symbol for the maintained push button is shown in figure. Note that it is the symbol for the momentary push button with a seesaw mechanism added to hold in the switch actuator until it is pressed a second time. As with the momentary switch, the maintained switch can have as many contacts of either type as desired, push button switch actuators. The actuator of a push button is the part that you depress to activate the switch. These actuators come in several different styles as shown in figure, each with a specific purpose. The switch on the left in figure has a guarded or shrouded actuator. In this case the push button is recessed 0.25 to 0.5 inside the sleeve and can only be depressed by and smaller than the sleeve, such as a finger. It provides protection against the button being accidentally depressed by the palm of the hand or other object and is therefore used in situations where pressing the switch causes something potentially dangerous to happen. Guarded push buttons are used in applications such as start, run, cycle, jog, or reset operations. For example, the reset push button on your computer is likely a guarded push button. The switch shown in the center of figure has an actuator that is aligned to be even with the sleeve. It is called a flush push button. It provides similar protection against accidental actuation as the guarded push button, however, since it is not recessed, the level of protection is not to the extent of the guarded push button. This type of switch actuator works better in applications where it is desired to backlight the actuator, called a lighted push button. Dot the switch on the right is an extended push button. Obviously, the actuator extends beyond the sleeve which makes the button easy to depress by finger, palm of the hand, or any object. 
it is intended for applications where it is desirable to make the switch as accessible as possible such as stop, pause, or breaks. The three types of switch actuators shown in figure are not generally used for applications that would be required in emergency situations nor for operations that occur hundreds of times per day. For both of these applications, a switch is needed that is the most accessible of all switches. These types are the mushroom head or palm head push button, sometimes called palm switches, for short, and are illustrated in figure. Although these two applications are radically different, the switches look similar. The mushroom head switch shown on the left of figure is a momentary switch that may be used to cause a machine run one cycle of an operation. For safety reasons, they are usually used in pairs, separated by about 24, and wired so that they must both be pressed at the same time in order to cause the desired operation to commence. When arranged and wired such as this, we create what is called a two-handed palming operation. By doing so, we know that when the machine is cycled, the operator has both hands on the push buttons and not in the machine. The switch on the right of figure is a detent push button, i.e. when pressed in it remains in, and then to return it to its original position, it must be pulled out, and is called an emergency stop, or e-stop switch. The mushroom head is always red and the switch is used to shut off power to the controls of a machine when the switch is pressed in. In order to restart a machine, the e-stop switch must be pulled to the out position to apply power to the controls before attempting to run the machine. Mushroom head switches have special schematic symbols as shown in figure. Notice that they are drawn as standard push-button switches but have a curved line on the top of the actuators to indicate that the actuators have a mushroom head. Selector switches a selector switch is also known as a rotary switch, an automobile ignition switch, and an oscilloscope's vertical gain and horizontal time base switches are examples of selector switches. Selector switches use the same symbol as a momentary push button, except a lever is added to the top of the actuator, as shown in figure. The switch on the left is open when the selector is turned to the left and closed when turned to the right. The switch on the right side has two sets of contacts. The top contacts are closed when the switch selector is turned to the left position and open when the selector is turned to the right. The bottom set of contacts work exactly opposite. There is no electrical connection between the top and bottom pairs of contacts. In most cases, we label the selector positions the same as the labeling on the panel where the switch is located. For the switch on the right in figure, the control panel would be labeled with the stop position to the left and the run position to the right. Limit switches Limit switches are usually not operator accessible. Instead they are activated by moving parts on the machine. They are usually mechanical switches, but can also be light activated, such as the automatic door openers used by stores and supermarkets, or magnetically operated, such as the magnetic switches used on home security systems that sense when a window has been opened. An example of a mechanically operated limit switch is the switch on the refrigerator door that turns on the light inside. They are sometimes called cam switches because many are operated by a camming action when a moving part passes by the switch. The symbols for both types of limit switches are shown in figure. The NO version is on the left and the NC version is on the right. One of the many types of limit switch is pictured in figure.